Hi everyone! Welcome back to another Filipino language lesson here on Talk to Me in Tagalog. Today's lesson is about how the Tagalog word mag, when prefixed to a noun, form a compound noun. A compound noun is a noun that is made up of two or more words. The Tagalog compound nouns that you will learn here are those that denote relationship between two or more people. But before we dive into this simple lesson, I would like to invite you to please view our Tagalog playlists for more learning materials that will help improve your Tagalog vocabulary and speaking skills. Links to the playlists are in the description. Please check them out. Let's first study how to name the relationship between two people. The rule is very simple as you can see on your screen. Mug plus noun mag plus noun and what are those nouns they are your relatives or the people around you like your mother father siblings husband wife friend etc here's our first word mag asawa mag asawa this word means couple or legally married couple to be exact how did the word mag asawa come to be it's by attaching mag to the noun asawa. Asawa is a neutral gender word which means someone's better half. If the guy says asawa ko, it means his wife. But if it's the girl saying asawa ko, she's referring to her husband. So husband and wife in Tagalog is called mag-asawa. Mag-asawa. Did you get it? Oh, just a quick note, there's a hyphen between mag and asawa because asawa starts with a vowel. Our next words are magama and magtatay. Magama, magtatay. Magama and magtatay both mean father and child. In other countries, you call your father dad, papa, baba, or appa, but in Filipino, we call our father tatay. Tatay. Anak means child, which is another gender neutral word. It could either mean a son or a daughter. Magama or magtatay denotes the relationship between a father and a daughter or a father and a son. Magtatay. Our next words are magina and magnanay. Magina, magnanay, meaning mother and child. Ina or nanay means mother. We call our mother nanay. Nanay. Magina or magnanay can be mother and son or mother and daughter. Magkapatid. Magkapatid. Meaning two siblings. The word kapatid is also a gender neutral word meaning someone's sibling. A sibling could be an elder sister who in Tagalog is called ate. Ate. Or an elder brother whom we call kuya. Kuya. The eldest child in the family is referred to as panganay, panganay, and the youngest is called bunso, bunso. If you are referring to just two siblings, the right word is magkapatid, magkapatid. Magpinsan, magpinsan. Pinsan means cousin, but if you are talking about pinsan A and pinsan B, you should call them magpinsan. Magpinsan, cousins. Magkaibigan. Magkaibigan. Kaibigan means friend, but if you have kaibigan A and kaibigan B together, they are called magkaibigan. Magkaibigan, meaning two friends. Our next word is magkasintahan. Magkasintahan. Kasintahan means a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Together, they are called magkasintahan to indicate that they are still unmarried. In English, both husband and wife and girlfriend and boyfriend are referred to as a couple. But in Tagalog, we have two different words to distinguish the legally married couple from those who are just dating. So you can now tell the difference between mag-asawa and magkasintahan. Magtiya Magtiya and magtita, magtita, t 
tia or tita means aunt and the word pamangkin is niece or nephew. So magtia and magtita means aunt and her nephew or niece. Magtiyo or magtito. Magtiyo or magtito. Tio or tito means uncle and again pamangkin is either a niece or a nephew. So magtiyo or magtito means an uncle and his nephew or niece. Maglolo. Maglolo. Meaning a grandfather and his grandchild. Lolo is grandfather and apo means grandchild. It could be a granddaughter or a grandson. Maglolo. Maglola. Maglola. Meaning a grandmother and her grandchild. Maglola. Here are some more Tagalog compound nouns that denote relationships between two people. Mag-anak. Mag-anak. Meaning family. Magkapitbahay. Magkapitbahay. Kapitbahay means neighbor. So magkapitbahay means two neighbors. Magkaklase. Magkaklase. Kaklase means a classmate, but if you say magkaklase, you're referring to two classmates. Magkaklase. Another word for magkaklase is magkaeskwela. Magkaeskwela, meaning two classmates. Magkakampi. Magkakampi. Kakampi means an ally, but if you are talking about two people on the same side, they are called magkakampi. Magkakampi. Allies. Magkaaway. Magkaaway. Kaaway is an enemy. Magkaaway refers to two people who are at odds. Magkalaban. Magkalaban. Kalaban is an opponent. Magkalaban means two opponents fighting against each other. Let's now use the compound nouns that you have just learned in a sentence. And I'm sure it will be very easy for you to understand what they mean. Magkapitbahay sina Arlene at Elena. Magkapitbahay sina Arlene at Elena. Remember, magkapitbahay means neighbors. And the word sina is a Tagalog marker placed before the names of two or more people. So, magkapitbahay sina Arlene at Elena means Arlene and Elena are neighbors. Magkaibigan at magkaklase din sila. Magkaibigan at magkaklase din sila. Magkaibigan means friends, at is and, magkaklase is classmates, din is uh, also, and sila means they. Magkaibigan at magkaklase din sila. They are also friends and classmates. Parehong karpentero ang mag-ama. Parehong karpentero ang mag-ama. Pareho means the same. Karpentero is a carpenter. Parehong karpentero ang mag-ama. Father and son are both carpenters. Next example is, Naglalaba ang mag-ina habang naglalaro naman ang maglolo. Naglalaba ang mag-ina habang naglalaro naman ang maglolo. Naglalaba means doing the laundry, habang is while, and naglalaro is uh, playing. Naglalaba ang mag-ina habang naglalaro naman ang maglolo. Mother and daughter are doing the laundry, while grandfather and grandchild are playing. Instead of si or sina, we use the Tagalog marker ang before mag-ama, mag-ina, and maglolo because they are not proper nouns or names of people. Now, let's talk about forming Tagalog compound nouns for three or more people. To do so, just remember this rule. Mag plus first syllable of the noun plus noun. Again, mag plus the first syllable of the noun plus the noun. Remember, magina is a mother and her child, but if it's a mother with two or more of her children together, they are called magiina. Magiina. Did you notice that we apply the rule for three or more people here? Mag plus e plus ina. We repeated e being the first syllable of the noun ina. Mag ina. A mother and her children. The same goes for mag aama. Mag aama. A father and his children. To say siblings where there may be three or more brothers and sisters, 
mag plus ka because it's the first syllable of the noun kapatid plus kapatid. Magkakapatid. Magkakapatid. Siblings. I underline the first syllable of the nouns that you will repeat in our next examples. Magkaibigan. Two friends. Magkakaibigan. Magkakaibigan. A group of friends. Magpinsan. Magpinsan. Two cousins. Magpipinsan. Magpipinsan. Three or more cousins. Magkapit bahay. Magkapit bahay, meaning neighbors. Magkakapit bahay. Magkakapit bahay. Three or more neighbors. Magkaopisina. Kaopisina means office mate. Magkaopisina is uh, two persons who are office mates. Magkaopisina. Magkakaopisina. Magkakaopisina. A group of office mates. Magkatrabaho. Katrabaho means a co-worker. Magkatrabaho is two people who are colleagues or co-workers. Magkakatrabaho. Magkakatrabaho, meaning a group of co-workers. Magkalaro. Kalaro is uh, your playmate. Magkalaro are two people playing together. Magkakalaro. Magkakalaro, meaning a group of playmates. Let's use these compound nouns with three or more people in a sentence. Magkakatrabaho si na Lance, Norberto, at Jovel sa Saudi Arabia. Magkakatrabaho si na Lance, Norberto, at Jovel sa Saudi Arabia. Lance, Norberto, and Jovel are co-workers in Saudi Arabia. Nagbabasketball ang magpipinsan. Nagbabasketball ang magpipinsan. The cousins are playing basketball. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so you will get notified every time I upload a new lesson. That's all for now. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tagalog language lessons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again very soon. Maraming salamat po! Oh, yeah.